Nobody's listening. And here's why. Happy Friday, everyone, and welcome back. One sales manager told a salesperson, nothing personal, but it's not about you. And perhaps it's why that struggling salesman felt that nobody was listening at appointments. Recently at a large social event, I set off to meet many people I'd heard of, but never had a chance to meet. My mission was to get them to talk about their favorite subject, you guessed it, themselves. It's not that I'm unwilling to share a little bit about my own life. In fact, I've done it here on the show, but when it comes to introductions or first meetings and making a great first impression, I live by the mantra that it's all about them. So the next time you're at a social event or at an appointment, make it a point to get each person to talk about themselves and then ask some follow-up questions. And most may actually comment afterwards that you're such a great conversationalist. So how can you talk about exactly what it is that you do without talking too much about yourself? It may seem ironic, but it can be done, and here's how. First, do some research. The miracle of the internet means that you can build a dossier of sorts on your potential borrower. You're not spying, but you're looking for a better understanding. And you're certainly not gonna tell them, hey, guess what I found out about you on the internet. No, it's just gonna give you a better idea of their motives, their interests, and also their property and neighborhood. Be sure, be sure to research that. Next is pause. The next time you make a sales call or a phone call, pause after you introduce yourself. And that can let you know if the person is interested or open or adversarial to having a discussion. And third, if you remember one thing, remember this. You can't listen if your mouth is running 100 miles an hour. Active listening is your best tool to discern what the prospect actually may be thinking. And lastly, reposition yourself. We help homeowners, many like you who are wanting greater financial security and peace of mind should the unexpected happen. And then pause. Does that sound like you that repositions you not as a salesperson, but as a consultant? Before we go, be sure to thank the sponsor of the show, the Federal Savings Bank. You can do that by clicking on the banner right above this page and also share your ideas on how you can get homeowners to actually listen to you. You can do that in the comment section below. If you're watching this on YouTube, we have hundreds of new subscribers. Be sure to go to hackamworld.com. That's where you can find our latest videos, articles, and more. Have a great weekend.